Hey guys and welcome to another video at Take Refuge 3D with me Peter. Now this is a really quick video on something that I wish I knew when I started out uh, using Blender. Now this is a quick tip for straightening UVs uh, with no add-on. So it does take more work than one click. If you want to do it in one click there's add-ons that you can pay to do that. If you don't want to pay for an add-on or you don't want to pay for an add-on yet, this is how you get a nice straight UV going around a curve. Very quick one today. Um, what do you do if you want to straighten some UVs and you don't have a fancy add-on uh, to do that for you? So we're just going to do a smart UV project on this one. And we'll notice some of these come back curved. Okay. Um, that's not exactly we'll just get rid of our reference objects here that's not exactly what we want um what behavior that we want is that we don't want this all um going all the way around or anything like that so what we'll do is we'll add a quick seam around there and one around here let me get rid of that spin tool okay we'll just mark seams okay so you're just marking all of the seams for where you want it to unwrap and we'll go all the way up to here or we'll mark a seam okay and we'll do one around this loop here as well and we'll mark a seam okay so and we've got one going all the way down the side i would probably usually put that on the inside now let's see what happens if we uh, unwrap this okay this is what we've got now i want to put a texture on this uh just to make it more um obvious what we're doing okay so this is our texture and this is our unwrap and the bricks look completely uh, bodgy and it doesn't look like a wall at all. Okay, uh, when I first probably started, I probably would have done something like this and just scaled it all the way up and left it like that and gone, woohoo, I've got a brick wall. Uh, obviously these bricks are going the wrong way, those bricks are going the wrong way uh, and all of that. Okay, so um what we might even want to do is just add seams on these ends here okay so i'm going to mark a seam there and we'll mark this one all the way around as well and then okay we can unwrap that again and then this is what we've got here okay we've got these um unstraightened uh uvs okay so this is how you do it so in your uv editor okay you can press number two on your keyboard to go into um uh edge mode and select an edge inside one of the islands that you want to uh modify okay and you press scale okay y s for scale y for to constrain it to the y-axis and zero and then you do it for the one that's immediate below it, S, Y, zero. And then you do it with these two, S, X, zero, X axis. Okay, and then do it with this one, S, X, zero. And Bob's your uncle, you've got a quad. Okay, you can select that three into face mode, right click, follow active quads. Okay, and then you can do the same again, S, Y, zero. S, Y, zero, S, X, zero, and S, X, zero. Three into face mode, right click, follow active quads. Now, everything we've got there is straight, except for this. I'm not sure if it's going to work on this, but we'll give it a red hot go. That's already a quad by the look, so I'm just going to go follow active quads, and it straightens the whole thing out. Now, all you need to do is select your individual by seam areas so this is uh obviously on the wrong angle rotate 90 okay and now the bricks are going the right way and you can scale it up until you've got them around about the size that you want so this is quite a um 
this is quite a uh, small wall. Okay, and we want to do this for both of these two. So I'm actually going to rotate that one 90, and I'm just going to sit these on top of each other, these two, more or less. You don't need to. Okay, and I think one of them is upside down, so I'm going to rotate 180. And we can scale that up on both sides. Okay. Well, not inside the uh, 3D viewport. And we'll get it about there. And then we'll choose these two ends. Okay. And we'll scale those up until they match. And we probably need to drag them around a little bit to get them to, once again, not in the 3D viewport. They're about the right size now. Just going to get them roughly. The, depends on how close up you want to look at to. You want people looking at this. If you want it uh, to be um, identical, match it up to the corresponding area. And then we'll rotate this one on the x-axis. And then we'll scale that one up as well. Okay. And then we'll choose this one here and click L and rotate 90, scale it up. Okay, maybe rotate 90 again. And now we're kind of getting something. I'm going to select all of this, scale it up. This one's not playing nice. So we might just get it in there for now, and then we can go around. Maybe I'm going to extrude this along the normals. Now we've got this. We can mark a seam there. Okay. You unwrap. Rotate 90. Scale it up. And we kind of got a brick wall. Right, that what that didn't take very long at all. It's not perfect. Obviously, you want to edit your UVs better. You might want to chuck a bevel modifier on there, um, and bring that in. But overall, it looks okay. It looks like a brick wall. Okay, so that's just a really quick and easy trick. Anyway, guys, that's just a really quick little tip for you. Um, I hope that it's useful to someone. Um, it's not like it's another quick and dirty trick, but it, it works. And um, please like and subscribe.